The minor basilica of the Immaculate Conception has stood here at the heart of Batangas City for 160 years. Sadly, last Saturday, an earthquake hit, leaving the edifice considerably damaged. It is now closed to the public, but we gained special access because a restoration architect has come here to assess the damage. The good news is that it appears that the damage is mostly surface level and the structure of the building remains entirely or for the most part intact. However, uh, he says it might take a year, provided restoration work begins immediately, it might take a year to get it back in full working order and it would cost somewhere around 3 to 5 million pesos at least. Now, whether it should be used by the faithful during that time is something that the parishioners should decide for themselves. There are always two conflicting sides on that part. No? Yung habang inayos, alisin natin muna yung tao to prevent them to, to suffer damages. No? Or kung iba naman, katulad ng mga ninuno natin, pinapagamit yung simbahan. Kahit alam nilang merong diferensya, kasi parang psychologically, yung simbahan naging pag-asa mo eh. So sa akin, kung hindi makaka-compromise sa uh, welfare ng pari parishioner, I would suggest na paggamit pa nila yon, paggamit pa nila to with caution. Para yung mga tao, makita nila na kailangan natin tumulong. The timing is quite unfortunate because it is Holy Week and this basilica would have been a focal point of religious traditions. But since this church and others like this have become a symbol of the faith of the community, it appears that, just like this basilica, the faith of the Catholics here in Batanga City remains, for the most part, intact. In Batanga City, JC Gotinga, CNN Philippines.